hello 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 there my darlings welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well um this is a new week your girl has been all over the place i know that i haven't posted this week actually so you should see this video this week um life has been happening and i've not been feeling too great to be honest with you um i've been feeling very very lethargic and just weak so i decided to just take it easy um, but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adwij. I'm a lover of all things fabulous. I love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, fragrances, um, all things fabulous, shopping, luxury. If that's your vibe, then what was that? I'll be right back. So today I'm heading to an event uh, for Huda Beauty, Kayali. Kayali Huda is in town and we're going to meet her. Gati is coming, um, so we are going together. Um, just getting ready quickly. The um, the theme for today is actually lilac, but I never got the memo until yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to go and buy anything lilac. So I have a blue dress that I purchased from Zara a while back. And I haven't worn it, so I was thinking maybe to wear that. And the blonde hair is back because you know the sun is shining. I've been rocking dark hair for like the past year. Some coffee, so I decided to bring back the blonde hair. So I'm gonna do a light beat because it seems to be very hot outside. And one thing I've noticed when I go out, I feel like my face, not that it feels heavy, but I just don't like that sticky feeling. Oops. And I find that sometimes my lashes just feel really heavy and I don't like that. So today, I don't know if it's the way I'm applying the lashes, but it just doesn't look nice. I don't like it. So I'm not gonna talk too much because I need to save the battery so that we can get ready together and do my hair after so you've really seen my makeup routine haven't you i'm just gonna go ahead with my favorite one of one of my favorite foundations this is um pat mcgrath uh skin fetish sublime foundation and i'm in the medium deep 25 i like this because it's almost skin like i just put like three um spritz this is almost skin like so i, I really love what it dust to my skin and then the morphe spray before applying your foundation apparently this helps your makeup to last longer so you know i'm gonna be out all day kati and i are probably gonna grab something after the event so there's a look there's a cafe in sloan shoot that has just opened i've seen a girl talk about it on tiktok i was thinking maybe we could go there like grab a a hot or cold drink like whatever she feels like having because i'm trying to be clean i'm cutting down sugar guys cutting down sugar i just don't like the way i feel i don't feel healthy although i'm not a snacker like i don't snack but i think you know when you work from home everything i do is in the house so sometimes it's hard to keep active so i've made a conscious decision to you know to try and be more healthy to move around to do some home exercise as well as go to the gym but i think for the meantime i'm just going to focus on my home exercise i'm finding that it's a lot more effective and then i'll go to the gym to just lift when i'm ready but in the meantime i want to work on my core strength using my own body and light weights um yeah i think that works for me a lot more so but yeah guys oh my god i can't believe yesterday last night i was on instagram and i saw that a beautiful black babe that i follow i'm gonna put her picture here i think she's american based but she's from the bahamas she, she's a luxury a luxury babe a luxury babe there's something very 90s beauty about her i just love everything about her 
I found out that she committed suicide. I don't know why this camera is so dark. She committed suicide, guys. As soon as I saw it, I sent it to Kati because I know that we both really like her. Like, we were both, like, in tears. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was so very saddened by this news, you know? Um, I don't know if it's true that she committed suicide or something happened to her, but I know that she's no longer here with us. It just made me feel so sad because you never know what people are going through, you know? Just because people are out here posting content, it doesn't mean that they have it all together, regardless of what they're posting. And I feel like sometimes people online they think they look at us and they think oh she's got it all together her life is perfect but you don't know what people are going through mentally you don't know what people are dealing with this is why i always say it's important to be kind like be kind to people i was very very saddened by this news i just could not believe it such a beautiful girl she was only 27 years old um she had so much ahead of her so so much ahead of her such a beautiful queen like i just I just wish I could have saved her, you know? I really wish, like she didn't have to do that, you know? You don't have to do that. No matter what you're going through in life, always know that there's a solution to everything. There's a solution to everything. Whatever it is that you believe about yourself, God loves you or whoever you believe in, you know? You have people around you that love you and will support you, you know? Like don't feel afraid to call anyone. I know we're all afraid of people judging us, people, you know, but I always say to my circle of friends, my sister, like, whatever it is you're going through, I'm not going to judge you. Just talk to me. Like, just talk to me. If I can, you know, help you in any way possible, I will. If I cannot, then we're going to seek help. But I don't think, you know, not to judge the, the beautiful young lady, but this is just for anyone that's going through hard times. You know, we all go through mental struggles. We all do it. But unfortunately, not everybody's mental capacity is strong, you know? So just know that you are loved. No matter how... I, I tell myself this as well, like, all the time. It is you're loved. No matter what you're going through, there's always going to be a solution. There's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Like the Bible says, there's time for everything. There's time to laugh. There's time to dance. There's time to cry. There's time to die. But let God do the taking. Let God take you when he decides, you know. The fact that you're still breathing means that God is allowing and needs you on this earth. So let's try and be there for one another. I'm sure she had a, she had a great support system. And it's that sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes just having a great support system is not enough. Because what's happening up here, that, you know, doesn't comprehend that. And this is why we need to show love to one another. This is why we need to be kind, you know. Especially to people who are online posting their everyday lives, posting content to inspire you. Let's be careful how we speak to them. Like the other day, I had some, some useless person comment on my videos saying, can't you see you're gaining weight? can't you see you're gaining weight i'm like who the hell because this is the thing i'm like this person will see my see me in real life and will never say this to my face i live in my body i know that i've put on a bit of weight but it's not major i've put on three kilos since january but because i'm short it shows straight away and me when i'm stressed i, I puff up when i'm it's not sleeping i puff up when you know I, I just automatically gain weight and this is why I try my best not to be stressed about anything you know but people are going through stuff stop leaving comments like this stop leaving horrible comments you don't know what people are dealing with how do you know that my weight is not affecting me mentally to the point where I, I no longer want to be here you don't know you don't know or whatever it is that I'm going through is affecting me and I no longer want to be here you don't know and this is why I keep saying every single time, you know, especially us black women, we really have to learn to be kind to each other. Just because someone's living their life in ways that you probably want to and you, you don't have the balls or the courage to do the things that I have to do if, each and every day to stay in this position. I have to work so, so hard because this industry has become a very, very saturated everybody's an influencer everybody's doing content 
So you can imagine how hard it is for the people who actually have the talent, the people who actually is their way of living for the for the people who actually really want this. Um, and this is no shade to anybody. Everyone's allowed to do whatever they want to do, but the whole world cannot become influencers. You know, like why are we like we love to jump on trends? We love it. I understand everyone can do whatever they want, but you know, the more people do it, the more difficult it's becoming. Because brands now don't know who to look because first of all, there's no transparency within the black community about payments and how, you know, things are done, how much do you, your rates are, blah, blah, blah. We don't have that transparency. So already within us, the industry knows that we're not transparent. So they can come to me and, and, and you know, and, and pay me peanuts because they know that I'm not going to tell Lucy or um, I'm not going to tell Lucy or um i don't know charlie or grace or these are just random names mary i'm not gonna tell them adiola i'm not gonna tell them <laughs> do you know what i mean so we have to be more transparent and we, we we need to find something else to do the whole world cannot become influencers like what is actually happening and this is what i'm confused about because it just seems like everybody wants to become an influencer and, and i don't understand anyway that's a subject for another day but like i said people are allowed to do whatever they want to do but it just it's the industry just becoming so much harder i don't know if you've seen it you can see that from when i started until now even the amount of paid work that i see going out it's not that much because even brands are confused they're confused babe because we're confusing them but anyway let me get ready and save the battery for later because i want to show you my hair application when i'm doing my hair so yeah we'll catch up in a bit babe so i'm ready to go out my house is a mess there are things everywhere i'm wearing this dress you probably would have seen it during the summer um i'm gonna wear my dior pumps with it like that and i kidnapped my sister's chanel bag for the vibes <laughs> so this is the look it's giving lady and yeah that's the vibe i wanted so i'm gonna put my shoes inside because I'm not going to wear it to go. I'm going to wear sandals. I need to get the uh, duff bag. Because it's too hard to be trying to walk in heels. And I can't really handle my heels like that anymore, guys. I don't know what it is, if it's age. I think working in retail has ruined my feet. I need to spray this this holds my makeup so much it's so good 
it holds my makeup in place like whenever i put this on my makeup does not move and because it's hot today i just want to keep everything intact i'm gonna put my sandals on white um bag i don't know if i'm gonna bring a jacket because it seems very very hot oh fragrance of the day i think I don't know what I feel for today, but I just got this new scent sent in. Now I think I'm gonna go for Victor Flower Bomb. Victor and Ralph, this is Flower Bomb. This is a really nice fragrance. Um, just to jazz it up, I might mix it with something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Viola. So that this is like a very sweet nice mix and to bring with me oh i forgot to use this oil just a tiny oil um, i'm gonna bring this molten brown with me this is mesmerizing oud gold Good morning, London. Waking up to a beautiful morning here in the city. Today's forecast, a high of 18 degrees. Humidity is low and there's a very light breeze. More importantly, the sun is shining. It's clear skies and great vibes all week. Get outside, get on your hot girl walk. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. So darlings, here I am at the Kayali event to celebrate the launch of their new fragrance, Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. I also got to meet the beautiful Mona and I saw my friends here, which was so cute. I had a fantastic time. The event was super cute and mesmerizing. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you about the fragrance. So basically, here's the perfume. It's so nice. It's good vanilla candy for a reason. It's so feminine. It's, it's giving that luxury aesthetic. It's giving that soft life. <laughs> I really like it still. And I was saying to Nas that out of all their fragrances, this is the one that really gives that vibe. Although I love like the oud, oud, oudgism, whatever. I love the vanilla, vanilla 28. But this one, there's just something about it that's really giving me that softness. And I'm here for it, babe. I know, I've put it all over. I must just bath in this, but this is so good. If you get a chance to check it out, make sure you do. Hey, Gatsy, my shoe. Your question is, <laughs> what is Kayali's best-selling fragrance? Vanilla Yes, Vanilla Twenty Eight. That's right. Bring them in another question. That's right. We got one. Vanilla, yeah, Vanilla Twenty Eight is a global number one, and it's the sister of uh, Vanilla Candy oh, Sugar. Right, right, one more question. Let's go through. What's the hero ingredient for Vanilla Rock Candy? Rock Candy. Yes. Yeah. 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 with the girls um Katy wants to go to Zara and we're just gonna spend the day together so come with us the weather is insane so nice and um, yeah, yeah. Rachel say hi to the vlog oh. guys vlog I'm back again she's it's back not she's back it's not a year we love that I don't know why the colour is like that, but we're out here in these streets of London. It's such a lovely day. Such a nice day. Look at Rachel's outfit, guys. What? Are you mad? Love it. Such a babe. We love it. <laughs> Gatsy, say hi to my vlog. Hello. Hello.
Uh, this is the new MSK fragrance. It's spicy. Um, there's umber in here as well, but for me, I feel like this is really spicy. Hopefully the dry down will be quite warm because you know we like This is more of a floral gourmand. It opens up spicy with jasmine, dries down more warm, smooth with hints of vanilla and amber. I do find that it has a hazy smoke in it, but quite smooth still. Today has been one hell of a day, um, walking around, going around, so now we are at a restaurant in Mayfair, Tati had to do some shopping in Zara, Rachel left us because she had to go back to the event with Kiali to meet Mona, she didn't get a chance to meet Mona earlier and um, yeah so she left us to go back, I'm starving. I didn't even get to taste anything at the event like I had nothing I had yogurt this morning but that's it so right now I'm so hungry like I literally feel like I'm gonna faint <laughs> no joke <laughs> so we're at this restaurant called the Lali um, I'm waiting for them to bring a menu so I can grab something to eat but I'm so tired like when I say I'm tired I'm exhausted it's been a good day though really been a good day feeling and looking very summery the sun has been shining so well the sun has been shining so beautifully and um yeah everyone's been complimenting my dress oh you look so summery no 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 i just love that so yeah your girl's feeling very very summery the hair is giving all the vibes that we love um, i don't want to get people into my video <laughs> it's giving all the vibes that we love um yeah i need to get the menu because they haven't given us the menu yet but anyway let's catch you guys in a bit <laughs> Last time we you had went out, out, but it wasn't the same because I was rushing. Yeah, as yeah. usual. Yeah, babe, I have, I have a small, <laughs> I have a small child. I have to rush. Okay, donc là on est en mode champagne, hein? Pas de muscadeur, hein? Bien sûr, hein? La qualité. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do we need to make space? No, it's Thank you so much. This was it's for me. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Because you are. Thank you. Oh my god. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Some balsamic vinegar on the side. Thank you. Thank you. Like some condiments? Ketchup, yes, please. Yeah.
C'est salaud. Ah. Mais nous, voyons. <rire> <rire> for darlings that's all for today thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe mm -hmm.